Welcome. In this film, we'll briefly consider the nature of atoms. Illustrated transcripts are available on Kansas State University's Gen Ag 711 course website and through a link provided on our YouTube channel. Atoms are small particles of matter. Every atom belongs to a particular element, such as hydrogen, carbon, or gold. Over 90 naturally occurring elements have been identified, and many more have been created in laboratories. At the heart of an atom is the nucleus. Within the nucleus, there are particles called protons that have a positive electrical charge. Other particles in the nucleus are called neutrons. As their name implies, neutrons are electrically neutral, meaning they have no net positive or negative electrical charges. The nucleus is surrounded by a cloud of electrons, tiny particles that have a negative electrical charge. Here, we see a highly simplified representation of electrons swarming around the nucleus. Elements are defined by the number of protons in the atom's nucleus. In other words, all atoms of a particular element have the same number of protons. For instance, the element lithium has three protons as shown here. While lithium has three protons, hydrogen has just one proton in its nucleus. Helium has two. The heaviest elements have about a hundred protons. Although all atoms of a particular element have the same number of protons, the number of neutrons may vary. The number of neutrons in the nucleus determines the isotope of the element to which an atom belongs. For instance, remember that all atoms of lithium have three protons in the nucleus. However, the number of neutrons in lithium atoms may vary. The isotope lithium-6 has three neutrons. The isotope lithium-7 has four neutrons. Both of these atoms belong to the element lithium because they each have three protons. The differing number of neutrons means they are simply different isotopes of the same element. The isotope number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Lithium-6 has three neutrons plus three protons, which equals six. Lithium-7 has four neutrons plus three protons, which equals seven.
some properties of atoms are related to their electrical charges. Remember that within an atom, protons have positive charges and electrons have negative charges. Entire atoms may also have unbalanced electrical charges. For instance, an atom may have an overall positive charge, an overall negative charge, or it may be electrically neutral. In an electrically neutral atom, the number of protons in the nucleus equals the number of electrons in the outer reaches of the atom. Sometimes an electron is stripped from an atom. In the remaining atom, the protons outnumber the electrons and the atom has an overall positive charge. This atom is called a positive ion. Some elements have a tendency to lose electrons in chemical reactions. Lithium, shown here, often loses electrons in chemical processes. Other elements have a tendency to gain electrons in chemical reactions. One example is fluorine. An electrically neutral fluorine atom has nine protons and nine electrons. In chemical reactions, fluorine often captures electrons from the atoms of other elements. When there is an extra electron, the atom has an overall charge of minus one, making it a negative ion. Let's review what we've covered in this film. Atoms are small particles of matter. Each atom belongs to a particular element. There are over 90 naturally occurring elements such as hydrogen, helium, lithium, carbon, fluorine, and gold. Man-made elements have also been synthesized in laboratories. At the center of each atom is a nucleus that contains smaller particles. One type of particle in the nucleus is known as a proton. Protons have positive electrical charges. The number of protons in a nucleus determines the chemical element to which an atom belongs. This nucleus belongs to the element lithium because it contains three protons.
another type of particle in the nucleus is known as a neutron. Neutrons have neutral electrical charges. The number of neutrons determines the isotope of a chemical element. For instance, this lithium nucleus contains three protons plus three neutrons, making it a nucleus of a lithium-6 atom. The nucleus is surrounded by a cloud of negatively charged electrons. If the number of electrons equals the number of protons in the nucleus, the complete atom has an overall neutral electrical charge. Sometimes an atom loses an electron. This results in an atom with an overall positive electrical charge. This type of atom is known as a positive ion. Sometimes an atom gains an electron. In this case, the atom has more electrons than protons. The extra electron gives the atom an overall negative charge. This type of atom is known as a negative ion. This concludes our video on atoms. We will refer to concepts from this video throughout our unit on ionizing radiation. Be sure you have a basic understanding of protons, neutrons, electrons, ions, and isotopes before proceeding with the other films.